I just recorded a long thing and then somehow the big speed button on my phone got pressed and it got rid of the entire thing. My gosh. Anyway, I finished this hat. Excited. I was excited to use the rainbow yarn I was saying I wanted to use. And it is this Yarn B Katarina yarn. <coughs> now, I had to re kick it because I had started a project with it before and like it was just. I won't I wound it up all kinds of crazy so I, I rewound it into a nice cake but this is a thin thin yarn I looked it up on Ravelry what weight this yarn is supposed to be because I don't know what I do with the label and this is supposed to be a DK weight and there's notes on Ravelry that say no this is more of a sport weight so I tried to look up patterns for a sport weight yarn because I was going to combine it with this I was going to do this for the cuff and then this for the rest of the hat but look at how different and thickness those are that wasn't gonna work all the patterns that call for uh like this thinner yarn that i liked called for a size five needle and i am not a big knitter i don't have every size needle i have no five dpns or circulars of any kind so that's not gonna work for me but I really want to work with it. So what I'm doing is I'm holding it together with this gray yarn. This is, I don't know what this is. I, this is some kind of baby yarn that got discontinued or got pulled from the shelves because the, I don't know. I think the, the fireproof abilities or something on it, they couldn't, I don't know. Something was up with it. Like it's a perfectly good yarn. It's just, it couldn't, they had it marketed for babies and decided that they couldn't for some reason, but it's a thinner yarn. So I'm holding it together with that. And that's giving me about a worsted. So that's what we're doing right now. And I'm trying to catch up with Vlogmas because y'all know <laughs> I've been watching uh, all that talk of love and I have not been keeping up with anybody's Vlogmases. And I don't like that. I gotta stay in touch with the community. So I had to catch up with three days, three or four days, I don't even know, of Vlogmases. And I'm not even watching that many Vlogmases. I don't know how people watch so many people. Where do you have this? Hi. I'm watching Crochet Witch. I was watching Cozy Cottage Crochet, but I'm pretty sure she's done because she's had her baby. Congrats, Hannah, again. She doesn't watch me, but still. <laughs> um, I'm watching Corner of Craft and... Who else? There's somebody else I'm watching, but I don't. I can't remember. I can't remember her name. It's another one. I think she's in Norway or something. I don't know. And then every now and then I also try to watch Little Drops of Wonderful. She, I think she was also doing it. I don't know. I can't keep, I'm watching like four and I'm struggling to keep up with them. So yeah trying to watch now while I work on this damn new hat and then also all my hats are coming out super loose so um, I'm not doing gauge swatches that's what I get for not doing gauge swatches so I am doing a couple less stitches on this one hopefully it fits normal people like for me I think the hats fit fine because I have all this damn hair but it's not normal people it's not gonna work out so, so he, yeah, he that's where we are. Just letting y'all know about my, you know, my tale of woe with the shit. super skinny about yarn. Also, you know, ignore my husband. He's a gamer. He's, like you know, boy, talking that the, World the of Warcraft so shit over there. Shit. You know, and he ignore that. <laughs> some and Good news, y'all. This bonnet stayed on all night. Success. <laughs> Alexa, good morning. Bless you, kiddo. Good morning. Today is Wright Brothers Day. Let's celebrate with a limerick. Ahem. Aerospace is the science of flight, launched by two brothers, both of them right. A coin toss would decide who'd take that first ride. I wonder if the other felt spite. Lovely. Let's see if she's got better gifts now. But if she starts a short story, we're going right back to the joke. Alexa, open my gift. Today's gift is a limerick of a boy who made mischief. There once was a mischievous kid who did things that his parents forbid. When Santa found out, he said with a shout, From my list, your name will be rid. I hope my present gave your spirit a lift. 
To unwrap one tomorrow. Say, open my gift. Cool. She's been giving us such terrible gifts, so. But then, I don't know. Her jokes haven't been that great. I don't know. I don't know. Some days are lovely. Some days it's my, okay, Alexa, whatever. <sighs> so, what are we doing today? <sighs> I still have, I never made any more extensions last night, but I did put in all the ones I have done. So, this is the bunch that still doesn't have extensions. So, most of it, most of it's extended. <clears throat> I am going to finish Baphomet today. Just all of it. I'm, I'm not even going to work on my hair. I'm not doing anything until he is done. Because I remembered I want to make Christmas stockings for us. I completely forgot. I bought the fabric and all that. And I haven't started. So I need to finish my Christmas project. So that I can um, make stockings. Have those ready to go. So that's the plan. I'm going to make my coffee. And then I'm going to work on Baffy Beff. Yep, yep. You know when you have something you should be doing, but you just really, really don't want to, so you do absolutely anything else? That's how Baphomet's going. I got his tail done. I have most of one of the wings done. All I have is one more wing to do and, like, you know, do the sewing. But I don't feel like it. So I'm wrapping gifts. So I bought a dozen of these little cell phone water games and just just because I wanted one look at how gross my nail looks oh my god it's just stained from hair dye I swear so <laughs> I'm gifting them to people and I'm just putting them in random uh, small boxes I have around the house so pregnancy test box pumpkin spice coffee box this uh, mouth guard box probably like a scalloped potato box <laughs> but they're all going to be these cheap little uh, water games that I got yeah I mean that I mean they're not it's not anybody's like main gift it's just like a random ass extra that I think will be fun to open in some random box so that's what I'm doing instead of getting my crocheting done today <laughs> I don't want to do this, you guys. <laughs> it's because I told myself that I have to do it. So now I'm like, no, I'm rebelling against myself. I've got all the pieces crocheted. The wings are done. His tail crocheted. I'm just adding the um, fluff in the tail is what I'm up to right now. And then I need to... Put it all together and be done with it. I'm also trying to go ahead and get the um, mushrooms tacked onto the hat because we got a uh, dog food delivery from Chewy.com and that box is going to be the perfect size for the hat. So I want to go ahead and have that wrapped and done. I'm trying to get any, you know, just regular four sided box presents wrapped now. So that I can leave all the funky shaped presents for my husband to wrap. Because if I'm like, oh, I already wrapped all of these gifts. Which most, most of the gifts are, you know, in a plain box. But I don't mind wrapping those. Then um, I can be like, well, I already wrapped all these. You just have these that are weird shaped and I don't want to do them. Which really, <laughs> I went up in the attic and we have so many gift bags. So really, everything could just be put in a gift bag. But I don't think that's as fun. Just pulling something out of a bag is not as fun. It's tearing open the paper, I feel like. But then again, I don't know, environmentally, bags are probably better because we all save our bags to reuse. I don't know. I just, it takes the fun out of it to just pull it out of a bag. But yeah, I'm feeling, ugh, I'm tired today. Very tired. In personal news, my husband came home yesterday telling me he has been kind of offered like a promotion. And he immediately told him no. <laughs> because uh, the problem is it's on second shift. And he used to, he worked on the second shift for like eight years with this damn company. 
and he wanted to leave because you know when you're working nights like that and your child is in school you don't get to see your kid because he leave he would leave whenever she's already at school he'd come back home whenever she um was asleep and then you know he'd only see her on the weekends but with all the coronavirus things and everything happened she has gone back to being homeschooled i homeschooled her up to third grade i think yeah up to third grade and she's back to her homeschooling so I was like, you know, it's really not that big of a problem right now. I feel like you should go ahead and take it. I think it's a good step for your career to move on up a bit. And we can just all convert to be vampires again like we used to when Emily was a baby. And, you know, we'll, we'll make it work for now. So... Yeah, like everybody was already congratulating him and everything. And he was like, whoa, I haven't even accepted it yet. But yeah, I think he's going to go ahead and go for it. We think it's the smartest choice. And I mean, yeah, like the thing with the kids is it's like the only thing we were wor he was really worried about. And I'm like, only thing that's going to be kind of inconvenient is um, it's easiest to go grocery shopping during the day when everyone's at work and stuff. So maybe, I don't know just wake up early one day of the week and get all the grocery shopping done so you don't have to deal with the crowds or something. I don't know. I'm combing out the yarn so it can be fluffy for the tail. So that's happening. I think when the baby takes a nap, I'm gonna try to take a nap too. I've been so sleepy. So yeah, I'm going to do some baking today just because I wanted the box <laughs> to put another little phone in. I want to um, have some, a box for some lemon bars I haven't made. And my husband's birthday is on Saturday and he likes lemon bars. So I'm going to go ahead and make those. You know, he works this weekend. I, I don't know why I'm surprised, honestly, because he's off all next week. I think. Or maybe it's not until Chris. I don't know. I don't know, but he's got a lot of vacation time coming up. For the end of the year so i'm really not surprised that they want him to work on the weekend but i was hoping that he wouldn't have to work on his birthday but i guess so oh yeah that's happening in my life wondering if i want to get the flat iron out to straighten out his tail or leave it a little extra floofy I think maybe after I attach it and we'll see how it goes oh yeah we're getting that done and also let me show you all the little bit of progress on my my hat oh my god it is so much nicer to work on than that damn blue rough hat there's where we are it's already changing colors it's bringing up to a um, purpley color and then it's gonna go like blue orange i love a color changing yarn it just gets me excited to just continue because i want to see the colors change so we got pretty much all the cuff is it the brim or the cuff i don't remember for hats whatever so i got that going and yeah that's oh i'm so also my eyes feel horrible i took an allergy pill but I have the heater on and I think it's just messing with my eyes. <coughs> Sorry. I got an allergy test done last year because I was breaking out in hives really bad. And it turns out I'm like allergic to so many things. I'm allergic to dust mites and cockroaches and mostly allergic to dogs, cats. Um, egg whites was a big surprise. Cause I eat eggs. I was I I, <laughs> I love a boiled egg. Don't threaten me with a boiled egg, cause I won't eat a boiled egg. But I think all the dust from the heater is messing with me. Allergy pill isn't making much of a difference. Wait, wait, let me go ahead and get off, cause I'm just going on about nothing now. <laughs> Hopefully next time I I, I update y'all, I'll have this damn. Goat man completed. So I can wrap him up. Take photos, wrap him up. I hate that these are like gifts for people because I can't 
post them on the internet yet. Like I really want to do some really cute fairy-ish photos with the damn fairy hat, but I'm like I can't really post them online because then they're gonna see their hat. I'd have to wait till after Christmas and uh, I just feel like it'll get a lot. People will like that one a lot. I feel like maybe I could even do a cute little TikTok or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just really proud of that one with my felted mushrooms. I think he's good. All right, yeah. Okay, he's still not done, but he's so cute. I have his, his wings are just pinned on. I'm about to sew those on. And then all I have is the embroidery left. He's adorable. She's going to love him. Oh my god. That edgelord sister-in-law of mine is going to just love her little devil coat. He's so cute. Oh, I want one for myself. Oh, he is done. I can take a nap without feeling guilty. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so freaking cute. I love him. I love him so much. Success! I don't like the temperature of this light. Oh well, we're just, okay. <laughs> anyway, Christmas crafting is officially completed. I'm pretty sure I already did video of this, but I forgot. He's done, he's adorable, cutest thing. I already done posted him in Facebook in my uh, dark humor crochet group. I forget what it's called. His little tail, his wings, he's adorable. I love him. And in the group, somebody posted that they made one for their daughter and they turned it into a plastic bag holder. And if that don't fit my home decor, I don't know what does. So I might have to steal that idea for me. The hat, I tacked on the mushrooms. So they're standing up nice and tall against the hat now. So I am officially done. I did, I was thinking about having a little mini photo shoot with this. You know, little fairy makeup and all that jazz, but I just I won't be able to post it yet and I'm gonna I'm gonna be just too antsy. I posted on my Instagram story because the, the recipient I don't think follows me I don't even think has an Instagram, so she's not gonna see it there. But I'm dying to post it other places. I'm so proud of it. I was inspired by the work by um Lala Bug Designs, if y'all have ever seen their I'm sure y'all have. I see them all over Facebook all the time, but maybe it's just because I'm into that. But they're felted hats. She makes them look like wood and stuff, and they have mushrooms and leaves and acorns, all hand felted. Amazing detailed work. They go for hundreds of dollars, as they should, because that's amazing. So that's what I was inspired by for the little mushrooms and all that. But I don't know how to wet felt. I mean, I do, but only uh, to make long snake droid like uh, shapes, not anything else so my needle felted mushrooms and then plastic dollar tree flowers and i left i left the gaps so that they could put whatever the heck they want or if they want to move stuff around because the recipient is a crafty person so they could customize it the way they want and i left space for them to do that so we're done i'm done <laughs> so now i can make stuff for myself but not not really what was i even making myself i don't know on his trampoline <laughs> so it is five o'clock i'll probably get a little bit of knitting in and then do another check-in before we're done for the day but i've been productive i'm done oh i need to work on my extensions huh so i guess i'll get to work on my extensions <laughs> well just my luck i decided i was going to start working on my extensions and <laughs> back combed my hook has suddenly disappeared on me but it's somewhere i'll find it and i will get this hair done i don't man these white strands i already picked like four out but they're like super obvious once i start back combing so i might pull out my my nail looks so gross oh my god it's just the hair dye <laughs> but i might end up pulling out my extensions that i know for sure are 100 percent human hair 
I didn't want to use them because they're like 20 something inches and I don't want that long of extensions, but maybe I'll cut them in half. But it is five till six, so I'm gonna go ahead and end today. So I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.